everybody so welcome to the last video of the year tomorrow the first day of the year y'all could expect a vlog so the new intro will be in effect right now i'm just not using any but yeah this is gonna be the last video actually i may make a short but other than that that's it okay three words to describe this year so i would have to say hard eye-opening and third word confusing Mm -hmm. confusing what was the most memorable moment for you of 2021 i would have to say christmas yeah what was your most played song of 2021 um let me see what was my most played song according to spotify because <laughs> i was gotten a lot more into spotify than um what is it pandora yeah i don't use pandora anymore um, we'll see in a minute. Pretty much that one. I played that one a lot. It's Going Looney by Big Frida. Yeah. Did you take any trips in 2021? Actually, no. I mean, I did go to LA. I think in May. Yeah, it may, but um, other than that, that's it. I didn't take no trips. Maybe next year. <laughs> Something you're looking forward to this coming year? Um, I can't really say, but one of the things I am looking forward to is finally being able to use my teaching degree. Um, I'm looking forward to, we're going to make this happen. We is going to get to 1,000 subscribers on here. Because, like, what's the issue? <laughs> I can't get there. Like, that's something I'm looking forward to. Um meeting people all sorts of stuff what was your favorite meme of 2021 now this is not really a meme but uh if you know tiktok or you know that land or you know this lady that i'm about to mention let me tell you i had a hoop mentioning her okay gorilla glue girl her like you <laughs> She seriously put Gorilla Glue in her hair. If that stuff does not make you laugh or not, not memorable, you have a, not a very good sense of humor, okay? What was the hardest thing you went through in 2021? Grief. Lots of it. Grief, okay? Who or what are you most thankful for throughout the last year? I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my friends. I'm thankful for God because... Without God, where are you going to be? Because he could pull you out of any situation and you come to him and you talk to him. That's just beautiful. Um, What was the funniest thing that happened last year? <laughs> I mean, this year. <laughs> so, okay, there was this moment. Y'all know I'm clumsy as hell, right? Tell me why a few months ago I fell down the stairs. I just slipped. Like, I didn't mean to, but I went pew. <laughs> like yeah that was funny because like i always laugh when i fall like period what was your favorite series this year i would have to say station 19 i finished that show in november and let me tell y'all i cannot wait to watch it again when it comes back on in february like holla what societal events or news story shocked you this year betty white mm -hmm. you know it just happened today it shocked me and it also shocks me that we're still in this covid mess like, what the world is going on here? Why are we still here? I don't get it. I'm ready to move on, COVID, from you. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are you hoping for less of this coming year? I'm hoping for less crime. I'm hoping that COVID goes away. I said this last, in the beginning of the year, being hopeful thinking, and it's still here. Um, and I'm hoping that there's less negativity. Like, people can actually be nice to each other for once. Because I don't understand what the issue is that y'all can't be nice. Like, y'all act so rude. The trolls on here. The trolls on... Oh, the trolls on TikTok. Like, why are you doing so much? Okay, so the question, next question is, what are you hoping for more of this coming year? I'm hoping for positivity um, for the world. I'm hoping for COVID to be gone. Like, even though there's been little periods where, like, things seem to be getting better, it always comes back to getting a worse. 
Can we get past the worst? Can we get past the part where nobody actually has to wear a mask? Like, I'm vaxxed, but I still wear a mask. Like, if you're not vaxxed, that's cool. But all I would just say, just wear a mask. Please wear a mask, okay? Um, let me see. What personal goals did you achieve in 2021? I reached 10 cases followers on TikTok. I mean, I find that an accomplishment because I thought that I wasn't going to get there. I mean, I wish I could have got there with, like, just doing, you know, stuff of me. But I just wanted to share the Proud family. And that's pretty much how I got there, you know? Um, yeah, other than that, I guess that's it. The goals I would like to reach for next year. By the way, I'm not doing no New Year's resolutions. I'm getting back in shape. I am... What else am I doing? I'm getting my license. I'm getting me a second job. Preferably, I would like to be in teaching, but I'll take anything. Um, what else? Um, I'm finishing my books. Yeah, I'm going to try to get down to it, to the nitty gritty. I want to reach a 1,000 subscribers, which I said earlier, so y'all might notice a shift, okay? I'll discuss this at the end. Keep watching it, okay? Um... What is your favorite YouTube content creator in the last year? I don't really have a favorite. I just watch people's videos. What are you or what did you do for New Year's Eve? Nothing much, really. Just vlog. Um, probably about to play some Sims. I probably drink me some sparkling cider later. Y'all have to catch that in tomorrow's vlog. Okay. What was your most memorable New Year's moment? Not really. Every New Year's I spend it at home. And I usually watch a New Year's Eve service at church, but they canceled. Yeah. Where is your dream city place to celebrate New Year's? New York. Mm -hmm. I would love to go to New York and have that kiss. I've been wanting this kiss, okay? This New Year's Eve kiss where everybody kisses at midnight. I would love to have that one day. Um, do you celebrate New Year's with a kiss? No. In 2021, I already said that. Where would you like to travel in 2021? Maybe visit family and friends? Wishful thinking. Um, what film are you most excited for in 2022? Um, not really a movie, but I'm excited for, you know, Agatha from WandaVision. Her crazy self. She getting her own show. I'll probably be reviewing it. I'm excited for that. I'm excited for Catfish and Catfish UK. I'm excited for How I Met Your Father. There's more shows I ain't really seen, like, no, anything new. Oh, The Proud Family, pr Louder and Prouder. I'm excited for that. But any movies? No, not really. Um, Let me see. What do you think YouTube would be like this year? I hope that the algorithm, like, I don't know. YouTube doesn't want you to grow if you're small. I've noticed that. Because, like, seriously, I could have the top-tier equipment, top-tier you know, places go and everything, and people still won't watch it. I don't know if this channel, because it's probably a seven-year-old channel or what, but I hope it could be better for everybody. I hope that these YouTube shorts could actually help people, for real. Because, like, it helped my other um, channel, my Sims channel. I went from being at 37 to 101. Sure, I'm still stuck at 101 now, but... I'm still stuck at 101, but yeah. What do you think 2022 is the year of? I don't know. Where are your new series resolutions? I'm not doing any. How are you going to motivate yourself to stick to your goals this year? My vision board. Yeah, I, I have my little vision board, if y'all saw that video. And I'll be using that to encourage myself and motivate myself to keep going. Because I would love to, like, if I meet a goal, I would love to, like, cross it off after I'm done, you know? Uh, what are your dream scenarios for 2022? The beach. I mean, that would be nice to go to the beach. Um, and 2022, what new things do you want to try? Driving. <laughs> um, Twitch. Um, taking breaks from social media. That's something else I would like to try. Um, yeah. What are you going to stop doing in 2022? Um posting as much content i want to move more towards tv show reviews reactions stuff like that because i noticed with the vlogs i want to do stuff that's actually going to get seen beyond my subscribers like i love y'all but like i would only say like maybe 10 people are watching 
and I've had 850 subscribers. How does that work? Just how, okay? And three years to subscribe your upcoming 2022. Hopeful. Thankful. Do shizzle for rizzle. But, um, yeah, as I said, there will still be vlogs. They just won't be as often. And the feisty louds may be cut down to two times a month. Like, I'm cutting stuff down. Of course, the favorite videos will still be here. I'll still be doing makeup. Maybe we switching some days around. I might start posting on Saturdays instead of Sundays. So, it'll be Wednesday. Well, I want to review a show on Mondays, too. So, it'll be Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Thursdays, there may be videos. There may not be videos, you know. So, that is... The new schedule for now because Monday there's a show to come on Wednesday. Catfish and catfish. And I include maybe the feisting out on the day. And um Saturdays I'm gonna start doing workout videos. And y'all mentioned story time. So I can see what I can come mm -hmm. up with for real for real. But this is the last video of 2021. Of course, there'll be a vlog up tomorrow. Then after that, we will see. Because I want to start taking it easy. I want to start working on TikTok, working on real life stuff because this YouTube stuff, I was hoping to get to where I need to get to. And I'm not trying to be negative, but usually when somebody hits the seven year mark, they have at least had to hit a thousand subscribers. And that just hasn't happened for me. And everybody else, you know, continue doing you. But for me, I don't know. It's just. Not as what it used to be. Don't, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Be safe tonight if you're going to a party or whatever you're going to do. And I will see you all next year. Bye.